All right, out here in Kingwood again, my old stomping grounds. Got another second corner, uh, second story corner soffit. See the bees going in right here on the corner. And uh, yeah, pretty simple, standard one. I'll let you guys know if I run anything crazy, but y'all have probably seen enough of these to be bored with them. Well, I didn't film a whole lot of this one. Um, to be honest with you, my battery's almost dead on my phone here. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how big it was. I'll stick a few uh, pictures that I got in here best I could. Uh, but you can see the lines from the combs going up here. This is a pretty high, it's a pretty steep peak. It's hard to tell. And this one's interesting because the, the gable there is actually not closed in. A lot of times that gable's kind of closed in and the bees will sneak up there through a hole. But I could see right up this thing with a flashlight the whole time and I could see that they weren't running up there. I did vacuum a couple that were kind of trying to make a move up there, um, but they definitely didn't all, you know, chase up there, chasing the queen and running away from me. I was actually able to get up here and get behind them right away, um, so that I also wasn't pushing them that way too. So that helped. Uh, but yeah, you know, vacuumed and cut combs the whole time, and I got one, just one sting on my forearm. I wasn't wearing my gloves. My sleeve came up and. I got one on my forearm that I smashed against the comb, so I can't complain about that. Um, but otherwise, um, this one had a bunch of swarm cells, a bunch of queen cells, and several of them were capped. The population of the hive was still really strong uh, to make me think that if they did swarm, it was you know not a big swarm or else they were a really big hive before they swarmed. But I never saw any presence of a queen. I really didn't find any eggs or young larvae. So I think there's a good chance that the swarm had already left, you know, and some of these queen cells are going to emerge in the next couple of days. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them home and set them up basically as a, as a queenless swarm. And I'm going to put those queen cells in there and uh, hope that they take to them. But, you know, otherwise I'm going to set them up as a fresh hive. They haven't been here but just a couple of months, so the combs are still real soft. There wasn't really any that I felt comfortable trying to, trying to keep and, and move, you know, as a brood comb for them. So, at this point, we're done. We're scraped up. I'm going to spray repellent and um, just spend a little time picking up tools and, and letting the bees, you know, they keep gathering up here and I keep vacuuming a few up. So just letting them settle down and vacuum up everything I can and we'll be out of here. Okay, folks. Well, I'm back on this job here. Uh, I made a pretty brief video about it the other day, but, you know, I was in a hurry and like I said, it was nothing too special. We do corner, uh, corner soffits all the time. But I'm actually back on this one today because I'm going to go ahead and do the repairs. And this is not something that I normally do. Um, I normally just leave it for the homeowner to, you know, do the repairs if they want to or have, you know, their preferred contractor do it. Um, but they asked me to go ahead and do it. So uh, back today, it should be pretty simple. Um, when I opened it up, it was masonite. You can see there's a little bit of masonite still right here that ripped. So I'll tear the rest of that down. I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna clean up the cut that I made along the top of the brick. Clean up this cut right over here on the plywood soffit, uh, and then we'll just cut a fresh piece of plywood to go up there. And then all of our trim boards, none of those broke when we pulled them down, so that was really really good. I'll have to work on trying to get some of the staples out. Um, but then it'll just be a puzzle piece game of putting the one by four trim back up. We'll caulk it and paint it to match. So I'm gonna get busy, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, well, I'm done with this one. And it took me a little bit longer than I had hoped. I don't really know where I lost the time. It seemed like caulking took a lot of time, a lot more than I thought. Uh, that's probably what it is, but anyway, here's the corner that the bees were on. And you can see we've got her all sealed back up. I went back with plywood um, soffit instead of masonite. I think I mentioned that at the start of the video. So I went back with plywood. It's plywood around here on the left anyway. Uh, so it all matches up real good. Caulked all the joints, all the lines, and painted her to match. I did over here on the right side too, just as a bonus for him. I went ahead and ran some caulk 
here underneath there's a pretty big gap to where the bees would absolutely be able to get into that soffit as well if they wanted to uh, and up here on top actually so the bees on this particular job were entering right there on the corner i think my finger in there right there uh, there's a big gap in the trim and the drip um, in the um oh eve trim i guess you'll call it the drip edge there's a big gap a big hole i mean if i could shove a couple fingers in it um there was actually quite a bit of water damage inside the soffit because of where that's leaking but i got all that filled in with caulk the best i could and painted over it. but up on top and this happens i see this on every single house i work on up on top here where that gable end comes down and meets the shingles below it um it was all rotted out in a big gap um that gap there actually is not as big as it looks it's only about an eighth of an inch this thing zooms in really well um so that didn't get caulked in but running all up along this gable here um there's still a big gap and that's just kind of outside the scope of my work on on this project but when i did the removal i actually could see all the way up into that gable so if bees get up here they can run into that gable and they can run right back down into the soffit where they were before so that'll need to get filled in i've already told the homeowner on that you know what to do as far as just getting up there with a tube of clear silicone and just you know having a day he said he would take care of it but anyway that's it on this one i'm pretty happy with it um like i said i normally i normally you know i always always bid the repairs separate and I normally don't do them. Normally the homeowner will do them or they'll have their preferred contractor. So honestly, I don't remember the last time I did the repairs, but we got this one done and we're fixing to go to another house and take care of that one too.